Chapter 8, Dreaming to Help Others When Pearl and Robin got to the creek, a baby rabbit zipped in front of them. Eek! said Pearl's mother. Ooh! She froze. The horses stopped, their eyes wide but not frightened. They were alert but at ease, so the boys were in no danger of being hurtled over their heads. Watchman barked, woof, woof, and dashed after it. He lunged at the bush where the baby had darted for cover. Watchman, said Bert, enough, come, come back. The dog whined but came to Bert obediently. Bert scratched his head. It's just a baby rabbit, said Risa, and breathed a sigh of relief. Whew. Oh, I'd like to have one, said Pearl. They are so cute. Maybe I can catch you one sometime, said Lucas. Good, Aurora, good splash, said Bert soothingly to the horses as he turned to pat them. See, ladies, your kiddos are in good hands. My girls are well trained, even with snakes, which they loathe. Ew, that makes all of us, said Pearl. You don't see snakes here much, do you, Uncle Bert? Well, it depends. Um, I keep the grass short so they can't hide, said Bert, but I have seen a water moccasin. Those things are nasty. Anyway, just beware. I'm glad the creek is clear, said Pearl's mother. Yes, this lovely Arkansas mountain water is clear and cold, he said. It gets bearable to swim in July for us humans, although Watchman likes to swim in it year-round. In April, you'll be able to see the bullfog tadpoles. They are huge. Sometimes you may see a snake, but they're usually more scared of us than we are of them. Pearl shivered. Ugh. Usually? Yuck. Queen Mother says we girls hating snakes goes back to the garden when the devil disguised himself as one and tricked Eve. Ooh, Daddy God, I hope I never see another one. If I do, help me kill it. Pearl remembered her daddy blasting a few snakes away with his gun. Even dead, the things were revolting. I've found a few poisonous snakes and other creatures in many of the houses I've had to search, Bert said. Usually there were some other strange things around, too. Was your uncle a cop or something, Robin whispered? Yes, said Pearl. He was a state trooper, and the best, I'm sure. I'm, I'm glad. I'm so glad he never got shot or anything. I remember we prayed for him a lot. Your prayers have keep him safe, Robin said. Hey, can we swim, Mama? asked Robert. Not now, Rob. It's too cold, way too cold. It's a girl's turn to ride. We don't swim in October outside, okay? That's right, Bert said. You guys come with me to the barn, and I'll teach you more things you need to know. Oh, can't we go again, said Lucas. Maybe another time, said Risa. Not right now. At the barn, the boys got off and the girls mounted. Pearl was almost tall enough to get on Aurora by herself, but she had to have a little help. I'll grow, she told Bert. Wow, things look better from up here. That's right, he said and laughed. You're getting an eagle's eye view almost. Can Robin and I please ride by ourselves, asked Pearl. No, Pearl, said her mother. We led the boys and we're going to lead you. You know how this, I've already talked to you about this. You probably don't know as much as you think about riding, sweetie. But I've read books, and Robin used to have a Shetland pony at... A mini paint pony, said Robin. There's a difference. Not this time, said her mother. Don't ask me again. Pearl bit her lip. No worries, Robin whispered and gave her a lopsided smile. It'll happen, Pearl nodded. Be thankful you get to ride at all, Pearl's mother said. Well, Robin's almost 14, and I'm almost 12. What's the deal, Pearl thought, feeling grumbly inside. Remember, you decide to have a good attitude, said her mother. It's a choice. Power princesses choose to have a good attitude, right, Pearl? Obedience is good, but obedience with the right attitude is excellent. So be excellent, power princess, said her mother. Pearl nodded and sighed. <sighs> Thank you, Lord, that we get to ride even though we have to be led. The guys and watchmen went to the barn. Pearl didn't say anything while the women led the girls and the horses down to the creek. She pretended she was riding Aurora by herself, going on a very important mission to bring back lost treasure or something. Hmm, she thought. How about a trail ride through the mountains to the Buffalo River to find and recover stolen stuff and return it to its owners? Yeah, Robin and I can work with the sheriff. And Uncle Bert used to be a state trooper. He can help. After all, horses can go places cars can't, and they're faster than people walking. She looked up at the clouds. Or maybe a trail ride to raise money for a kid who needed help with hospital bills, like the kid with cancer that we took toys to and treats a couple of years ago at Arkansas Children's Hospital. Thank you, Daddy God, for good health, said Pearl out loud. That's a great attitude, said her mother, looking back at her. Does writing help you think about that? I'm proud of you, Pearl. They got to the creek, and they saw light sparkling on the water. The breeze blew softly over it and made ripples. Oh, it looks like sequins, Pearl thought. I wonder if that's where they got the idea, from what God did. No one spoke for a few minutes, but rested in the peace. The light is sweet, 
and it pleases the eyes to see the sun, her mother said softly. I think that's in Ecclesiastes. I was just thinking we could have a trail ride to raise money to help sick kids, said Pearl. Excelente, said Risa, turning splash. What a great idea. There are many, many people around here who have horses, and we could get the local ranches involved too in the churches. Yeah, and we could get businesses to donate food to sponsor the riders and to feed off uh, the trail, feed the people after the trail ride, Robin said. Wow, this is getting big, said Pearl. I bet we'll make lots of new friends, too, and help lots of kids. Looks like we have an event, and how quickly it came up, said Pearl's mother. Great minds think alike. I love your hearts. We know a little boy who could definitely do some help right now, said Risa. Pearl, she said as she looked over at her, you truly are a jewel with a beautiful heart. Oh, thank you, Miss Risa, said Pearl. I'm so glad you guys are our friends, and I want Robin to come back soon, okay? We certainly will, said Risa. We hope you will come to church tomorrow, too. Remember, we're making plans for Alleluia, Harvest, and A-Rod at the end of this month. Queen Mother, we're going right, said Pearl. Yes, Pearl, as long as we can have a nap tomorrow afternoon, said her mother, and laughed. I really am looking forward to a good night's sleep and a nap, and I'm just catching up. But I'm I'm going to catch up quickly, and with my clients, too, so, whew. She turned her roar back toward the barn. We've just arrived yesterday, and already we're very busy. <sighs> but it's a good life, a Zoe life. Living with Bert is like living in a hotel, so that makes it much easier, sort of, she said. But I need to go through all the stuff in storage, and I suppose we should do it this week while everything is out of order anyway. Hey, maybe we can have a yard sale and meet new people, too, Pearl said. Possibly, said her mother. Can we have it Friday, me, mother? Oh, Pearl, let's just be quiet and enjoy the evening, okay, said her mother, sounding tired. Yes, ma'am, said Pearl meekly. Wow, God, so many exciting things. Thank you. And just give Queen Mother strength. I, I know you are her husband now.